So let's check out this botnet that's spreading rapidly worldwide. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And today I want to cover a botnet that's rapidly spreading around the world and infecting around 50,000 computers a day. And if you guys are new to cybersecurity or haven't went through any training or even know what a botnet is, it's basically a network of computers that have been compromised and are being controlled by a central entity. That's the gist of what a botnet is. And botnets are used to carry out a variety of cyber attacks, such as DDoS. And that's one of the things that was used like back in the day with the anonymous group. I remember they were going after the Church of Scientology or something like that. And they used a DDoS attack in order to take down their website. And it's been used, you know, by a whole bunch of cyber criminals to do various tasks. You know, they do attacks, you know, spam campaigns, uh, credentials stuffing attacks, all kind of attacks. And it's important to raise awareness about botnets and their potential harm. And I wanted to cover this article so you guys can be aware of what's going on, especially if you plan on getting into the cybersecurity field. It's important to keep up with things that are happening in the world. Now, let's go down and hop over to the article and cover exactly what's going on with this botnet. Before we move forward, I wanted to ask the Keep It Techie fam to consider joining my channel membership. By joining the membership, you can support the channel, get access to member-only videos, tech mentorship, early technical course access, and exclusive Linux content. Thanks, and back to the video. All right, so we have the article. It is on Hacker News and the name of the botnet is Milo Bytes. And like it says in the title, it's spreading rapidly worldwide, infecting around 50,000 devices daily. And this article was released uh, last month, so a couple weeks ago. And shout out to, to the person that did the research on this, uh, Rivi. And I don't want to mess up your last name, but Lakash Lemon and or something like that. Well, shout out to you for doing the research on this and putting this information out. Uh, but this was the best article that covered this Milo bot in detail. And so I wanted to, you know, at least read it to you guys so you guys can, you know, understand. And of course, I always have the link down in the description of the video. But it says a sophisticated botnet known as Milo bot has compromised thousands of systems with most of them located in India, the U.S., which is important, you know what I'm saying, especially if you live in the U.S., as well as India, not downplaying any any other country, uh, Indo Indonesia and Iran. Uh, that's according to new findings from BitSight. So shout out to them. They actually, you know, made the findings of this. It says, which said it's currently seeing more than 50,000 unique infected systems every day, down from a high of 250 unique hosts in 2020 and that's super crazy how big this botnet is like i haven't like most of the time you hear about a botnet has like 50,000 hosts or something on it uh but this is a very high number you know what i'm saying and then they're getting like 50,000 a day. So unique devices a day. So that's crazy. Now it says, furthermore, an analysis of Milobot's infrastructure has found connections to residential proxy services called BH Proxy, uh, indicating that the compromised machines are being used by the latter. But Milobot, which emerged on the threat landscape in 2017, was first documented by Deep Inst instinct in 2018 calling out its anti-analysis te techniques and its ability to function as a downloader and i got a breakdown of the how it works right here i'm gonna just read a little more i just want you guys to see this but it says what's what makes my little bot dangerous is the ability to download and execute any type of payload after it's in fact affects the host uh lemon's black lotus lab said in november 2018 and so that's the dangerous part of it right there you can download any type i mean it's typically or at least from the research i've done you know uh, it'll be built specifically for a different type of payload like for instance it could be for 
some form of malware or ransomware or something to that effect after it infects it but this is in uh allowing it to do any type of payload so you can pretty much do whatever you want with the system once it's part of that botnet now it says last year the malware was observed sending extortion emails from hacked endpoints as part of a financial motivated campaign seeking over 2700 in bitcoin so that's crazy that's what they were doing they were using some form of ransomware in order to get uh, bitcoin out of the host or the people that you know have the malware installed on it but here's the process so they got the downloader and the molly bot uh breakdown this is basically the full process so um you can check that out as well but molly bot is known to employ a multi-stage sequence to unpack and launch the bot malware notably it also sits idle for 14 days before attempting to contact the command and control server to sidestep detection so that's another crazy part about it you know it sits idle so whoever system it is they don't know until 14 days after you know when it tries to and that's if it's even being monitored you know for 14 days or so but it sits there idle and that's really to circumvent you know detection and so that also they have like 14 days to do whatever they want with the system you know what i'm saying so if it's sitting idle it's not contacting anything back whatever instructions it's gonna run within those 14 days you know what i'm saying until it contacts back now the primary function of the botnet is to establish a connection to a hard-coded c2 domain embedded within the, the malware to await further instructions now it says when the malware receives an instruction from C2, uh, it transfers the infected computer into a proxy, uh, BitSight said. The infected machine will also be able to handle many connections and relay traffic sent through the command and control server. And here is a chart of the systems. Uh, so if you check this out, this tells you where it's located. So as you can see, that's uh, India, I think Indonesia, that's the U.S., and as well as, you know, Alaska is included. But yeah, it says subsequent uh, interactions of the malware have leveraged a downloader that in turn contact a C2 server, which responds with an encrypted message containing a link to retrieve the Mollybot payload. Now, the evidence that Mollybot could be part of something bigger stems from reverse dns lookups of one of the ip addresses associated with the botnet c2 infrastructure which it has revealed ties to domain client uh domain name client bhproxy.com uh the boston-based cybersecurity company said it began sinkholing mollybot in november 2018 and that it continues to see the botnet evolve over time so that's pretty much it and like i stated in the beginning botnets are basically a serious threat to cybersecurity, and this new botnet is no exception and what i can tell you is it is more important to stay vigilant and take steps to protect yourself against these types of attacks so you need to make sure you stay up to date on updates on your system as well as use some form of antivirus software on your system and make sure it's constantly being updated and one of those things I always like to say, make sure you use strong and unique passwords for everything. It's very important that you do that, as well as being cautious and suspicious of emails and links that you receive. And by following those best practices, you can reduce your risk of falling victim to these types of botnet, botnet attacks. Now, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And of course, keep it techie.